um, just want to um, do a video, and I want to talk about um, spirituality, um, spiritual awakening, ascension, meditation, all that kind of stuff. And I want to um, let you understand that spirituality or meditation, awakening, ascension is not a course you must go on. You can go on it. I could make a course right now. A say, say a three day course on my spiritual awakening. That doesn't mean you're going to get an awakening. You're not going to get an awakening from that. Right? Because all I can do is tell you what I've experienced. That's not going to get... Because spiritual awakening... What my awakening came from... Was knowing... That all was me. I knew all of a sudden... That everything was me. And that... Um, I started to go on this journey. Without that knowing... Without that experience... You cannot awaken. It's an experienced spiritual awakening. And it happens at the right moment. If you're watching this, you're meant to watch it. Um, but what the system tries to do, this is what the system does. David Icke says it, that the system has to control the masses, like David Icke says, you need to control the information that people receive. This controls their perceptions. So that's why college and, colleges, universities, schools must exist. This is why revolutions happen. A lot of it is not, a lot of it is not, um revolutions it's a system what the system does is it sees what's going on in the world the kind of revolutions then they create their own versions of the same things so you're likely to go down the path of the system for example they'll see spirituality then they'll start to jump on the concepts and take court and take and um, make it into a systematic thing like you have to go to university and if you have um, if you're a master's in spirituality, then that means you're like these ascended masters. That's what they want to make you believe. And yet it doesn't happen. None of them are like any of these people that have, that have, that have been ascended masters that are like sitting on this mountain. None of them get to that level. Um, and the reason is, is because it's all a hoax. It's all a hoax. They're basically taking concepts from people that have had these paths. But it doesn't matter about the concepts. It doesn't even mean anything. Because what people that have had spiritual awakenings and as ascended people that are on, what's happened to them is they're tapping to infinite knowledge. They know. And it's this knowing that all is your infinity that taps into this infinite potential and infinite consciousness and infinite knowledge. So, but they know this. But that's why they want to turn it into courses and a systematic thing so that you believe in your mind that anything to do with anything good, anything development, you must learn outward in the external world and not from within you. That's what the system wants. Um, that's what the system wants. That's, that's what they want. You, you to, so you then believe, can everything come from your subconscious? So you then believe that um, the power is outward. Now, I'm not religious, but I've heard, I've seen um, quite a lot of things online that well, I've not looked for it. On people from years ago, ascended people, mass, so-called spiritual masters saying, all within, all within, all within. Apparently Jesus said it as well. And so they're not saying to you go outward. They're saying within, within, within. And within does not mean your brain. That's an illusion. Everything, you're just a point of consciousness. Listen to all the people that have had um, near-death experiences and science now, and it's all consciousness. You're a point of consciousness, just energy, awareness. And so you're not, um, you're not your body, and you're not your brain. The I see the heart space, because that's, that's, that's the portal to where you tap into this. But your body isn't even real. You're just consciousness. But it's this knowing that you're an infinite consciousness that will help you tap into this infinite power. But it's not just something, it's saying it sounds easy, but it's authenticity you must become. And that means you're willing to face real truth. 
And that sounds easy, but it means you're going to face things that aren't, it's not going to make you happy. But I had to do that because I had enough um, of 24 years, 24 years of life when I had my awakening. And I sat up one day and all of a sudden started going through the awakening. Obviously, that was the moment for me when my intuition, my intuition side came through and I had enough of being asleep. I had enough of, of conforming. And so that higher consciousness, the pure conscious part started coming through. And, can we, and so it, it's an alignment process. But this process cannot be just spoken or repeated, like university kind of situations, where they consider you a master of how much you repeat something. But um, the real spiritual mastery comes from knowing that you are this infinity. So that's a real faith, is knowing, not believing. So you worse, must work on knowing that you are infinity. And you don't need a, a saviour, you don't need a college, you don't need anything outside of you. You are the answer. Um, but this is what they do. The system takes spirituality, spiritual enlightenment, spiritual ascension from masters. and But they've got to control that. They, want, they need to control that because they think to themselves, if this gets out there and people think that it's all within them, That'll take the power away from the system. And then you'll have a bunch of people, they're thinking, that um, think that they're the answer and that we know nothing. And that is the truth. That's what they're worried about. That's why they've got to control um, everything, including spirituality, which is the most important. And this is why the system doesn't like David Icke and they're scared of the awakening. Because they know that this is coming, that people that have had proper spiritual awakenings um, that, that have had big mind explosion awakening experiences are sharing this knowledge and that's what they are terrified of that's why this, there's a race to get this 5G out AI, the smarts it's all to control the asleep people as quickly as possible but they know the game is over for them um, and so the people in the suits which are really the enemy the ones in the suits are the enemies um, I'm not saying don't wear a suit but the ones that are in the suits are the enemies, basically, the systematic ones. And they're the repeaters. They're the people that um, just repeat things. And um, I was watching something yesterday with Sam Guru talking to law students, and they're a bunch of morons. And um, I don't know if that's his name or if that's his nickname, Sam, I don't know. But he's obviously more awake, and they were all arguing with him. And very aggressive. But this is the attitude they have because they know that their college cannot give them that. That's why, they, that's why you, I see it all the time. I don't look for it, but I see it all the time, this attack on more awakened individuals. Because they know, these people that are repeaters in universities know that they, they cannot, they um, don't have that power, they think. And so they're hating on people who are more ascended. So I, I've got an insight now onto how Jesus... The Jesus Christ experience would have been. I mean, I'm not religious, but I imagine what what it might have been for him. A bunch of people hating the fact that they think that they cannot get to that level. But everything is within you. Um, but that's what the system wants. It, it, it has to control everything. If, you, if I want to control the world, I've got to control information that everyone receives. Right? To get you on my way of thinking. The way I want you to think. If I don't do that, then you're going to have another solution, and the people would then take over. The people will be, there'll be a revolution, like what's happened already. There's revolutions happening because people are awakening. This is this is what the system's always been scared of. That's why they've been trying to control everything, including spirituality. But understand that you are infinity. Everything is within you. you tap into that. You understand that you're infinity. You tap into infinite knowledge because you're just a point of a point of consciousness but within an infinite consciousness um, I'm just going to end it there thank you much for watching, thank you